two triangles are congruent if all of their corresponding side lengths are equal and all of their corresponding angle measures are also equal. Since triangles have three angles and three sides, proving all six pieces of information can get tedious if you want to prove that two triangles are congruent. Luckily, there are certain combinations of congruent sides and angles that describe a unique triangle. One such combination is two congruent angles and one congruent included side. Let's see why this is true. Here, I'm going to construct a triangle with a side length of 4.3 and two angles, one 125 degrees and the second 13 degrees. If I extend rays from the two endpoints of the known side, you can see that they only have one intersection point. In other words, there is only one possible triangle with this given set of information. This means that if I have two triangles and I know that the measurements of two angles are congruent and the measurement of the included side is also congruent, then I can conclude that the two triangles are congruent. This example provides the evidence to support the angle-side-angle congruence postulate, which states exactly that if two angles in the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles on the included side of another triangle, then these two triangles are congruent. The order of the letters is intentional here. The S is between the two A's because the known side length must be between the two angles.